I'll be here in Abuja. Okay. I just came back from Lagos two days ago. I have met a lot of comrades who are in high spirit, despite the intimidation, harassment by non-state actors in Lagos. I'm confident that comrades generally are going to be peaceful. Uh, I also urge the generality of Nigerians that we, everybody should be peaceful and go about this peacefully. I, I, I am optimistic and still believe that, a gov that the president may not even allow the protest hold if he begins to accede to the majority of the demands of the Nigerian people. For instance, Dangote, who has never supported any credible thing in his life, you know, has benefited from the protest. He has now gotten crude oil to be sold to him in Naira. And it benefits the whole populace if we are able to refine products. Crude oil will be cheaper. Uh, those who are refining crude oil abroad and bringing in to make maximum profits will be on the losing end. In fact, the president should drive for a crude oil refining uh, plants and refineries and even mini refineries that we have in the Nigeria to become you know, a thing that is attractive, that is supported, so that we can have a lot of options because monopoly is not good for any economy. So we should be heading towards the, the era of Nigeria having 10, 12 refineries. And we should become the petroleum refining nation in, in not just West Africa, but in the whole of the continent. We do have the capacity to be the petroleum refining hub for Africa. And this will generate a lot of forex for our economy, which we badly need. Also, people keep saying, who are the leaders of the protest? Who are the leaders of the protest? I know everybody is excited about or want to know who are the leaders of the This protest have, has no form of leadership. We all know who the leaders are of this protest. We have said it, and let me re-echo it again, that it is the hunger in the land. It is the frustration. It is the lack and want of the average Nigerian people it is the insecurity all across the length and breadth of the country, you know, and it is also the corruption by political actors, the waste in government. That is what is responsible and that is what is leading and foiling this protest.